everybody. I am Kathy from Above and Beyond Creative Sewing. Thank you for joining me today. A few weeks ago, I had done a video on my baby lock cornet on my free motion quilting skills. I wanted to practice that to get a little bit better. And in the comments of, to that video, somebody had asked me if I could do a, a free motion video on a domestic machine. So that's what I'm gonna go over with you all today. Okay, first I'm gonna go over on my faf. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change to the uh, spring, the 60 spring foot is what I'm gonna be putting on it to do my free motion quilting. You notice this does have a little bit of a spring when you just go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna pop my quarter inch foot off and I'm gonna go ahead and attach this foot. All fops, they have that screw that's on the back of the ankle here, so you kinda wanna release that, but not all the way so that it falls out. You're gonna clip this together and you're gonna put that into the, the hole, it's very easy and self-explanatory where it goes. And then you're just gonna go ahead and retighten this screw here to get this foot to stay on, okay? So that's how you would attach this foot. To get this machine to go into free motion mode, you are gonna just come on over here to the screen and you're gonna see this uh, round button here with the squiggly lines. I think that is the universal uh, symbol for free motion quilting. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that. And then I'm gonna tell it what foot I'm using. So I'm using my dynamic spring foot, the, C, the, the 60 free motion foot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. And if you'll notice, as soon as I hit that, you heard my feed dogs drop. Okay, so very important when you're free motion quilting, your feed dogs, you want to drop your feed dogs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my check mark. Now my machine is all set for free motion quilting. So what you want, um, if, if you don't have a machine that's um, a, in a cabinet, you do want a, a nice flat surface space to do free motion quilting on to support your quilt or your project, what you're doing. Okay, so I have a so steady table attached to mine, so it does give me a, a nice uh, working area, okay? So if I wanted to free motion at this machine, I could, I could certainly do that. Okay, and remember in my cornet video, the thread I spoke about, this Madeira quilting thread, I absolutely love it. You can certainly set up these big cones on your domestic machine as well by using the thread stand, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this thread stand right next to my machine, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this large spool. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right on the stand. Okay, and then I'm just gonna thread it up, you know, normally like this, and I'm just gonna get it to come into my machine like normal here. Okay, just like that, very easy. So you can use a whole bunch of different needles. You can use a quilting needle. I actually just have a universal needle in here. Um, either one would work just as well, okay? So now I am ready to go ahead and start quilting my project. So my feed dogs are dropped. All I now have to do is just push my foot pedal and then I'm just guiding the fabric now with my hands instead of with my handlebars as I do on my coronet. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead, get this thread out of the way and so on. Okay. And that's how you would do it on a domestic machine. Okay, just to practice. And that's it. Okay, so when I'm done with my quilting, to get this machine to come to set it back to for uh, straight stitching, you're gonna wanna bring your feed dogs back up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this. And how you do that is you're just gonna come back up here and hit the symbol you're gonna take the foot off, okay? Hit the check mark. So now the machine knows that this foot is coming off. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Okay, we're gonna pop this foot off. And then in order for these feed dogs to come back up, you just wanna do a few straight stitches. And as soon as you start sewing, you're gonna hear them pop back up. Okay? There you go. So that's how you would set up a your FAF domestic machine for free motion quilting and to get it to come back up to do straight stitching. Okay, thanks for joining me. Thank you, bye-bye.